So for the first one, we have the pipe like this. It's open at both ends. V is equal to 343 and the length is equal to 1.23 meters. So we have the wavelength is equal to 2 times 1.23 meters as we've got half a wavelength in here. So the frequency is equal to V over lambda, which is equal to 343 over 2 times 1.23. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 139 hertz. For the second case, we have a full wavelength in there, so wavelength is equal to 1.23, so the frequency is equal to, it's actually we don't have this 2 here now, so our answer is double this, it's 2 times 139, keeping all the significant figures from this one, we end up with 279 hertz. And then for the third case, we actually end up with three and a half wavelengths in there, so it's three times this fundamental frequency. So f is equal to three times 139 with all its significant figures. That gives us 418 hertz. Okay, so that's part A. For part B, we're told it's now blocked at one end. So the first fundamental frequency will be where we've got a quarter of a wavelength in there, so lambda will be equal to four times 1.23 meters. And so the frequency will be 343 over four times 1.23. So it'll actually be half of this one. And so that is equal to 69.7 Hertz. Now the next frequency will occur when we've got three quarters of a wavelength in there. So we'll end up with three times this. So F will be equal to three times 69.7, which will give us 209. Hertz. And then finally, the third sound we'll hear will be when we have five quarters of a wavelength. So f will be five times 69.7. So that'll be 349 hertz.